Hello Seekers, welcome to Penis Astrology, your one stop astro channel and I'm here in the middle of nature uh, while I'm doing vacation. I wanted to inform you uh, that there has been a couple of uh, transit yesterday night and today. <clears throat> so Mercury went out of retrogression, Mercury was in the sign of Libra. So Mercury is now direct, whereas Venus is now in the sign of Sagittarius. So now you get to see that Sagittarius is now getting clouded. It's, it's getting crowded actually. You already have Jupiter, then Saturn, and then Ketu, and now Venus comes into picture. Now, when Mercury becomes retrograde, from Mercury becomes direct, and then Venus goes into Sagittarius, uh, this has a special significance. Because first of all, there was a Parivartan Yoga between Mars and Venus, which now no longer exists. Venus goes into the sign of uh, Guru, Dev Guru, and it gets conjunct with Jupiter, which is not far into the zodiac of Sagittarius. So now Jupiter and Venus has a very tight conjunction. Now Mercury, which is going direct in the zodiac of Venus, shows communication of balance, communication of equilibrium, and communication of love and matters related to marriage, whereas Venus shows filtration. Because Venus is going to pass through the boundary of Jupiter, Saturn, and Ketu, Venus, which represents love, compassion, luxury, all those things will go in some sort of self or soulful filtration. So to whomsoever you love, to whomsoever you like, you'll always feel whether you're doing the right thing or not. You may feel a lot of pressure today. You may feel uncomfortable today. A lot of people may complain that they are being, that they're becoming sadder. They are, they are not feeling great. Their health may be not up to the mark. This is because of the filtration process and a lot of negativity will be taken away from you. This kind of polishing of Venus will happen because it will encounter the strict teaching of Jupiter, Ketu and Saturn. And now Venus. So imagine Karma Lord, Moksha Lord, Jnana Lord and Venus, one more Guru, all comes in together in the sign of Sagittarius, which is the natural ninth house. Now Sagittarius itself means teaching. Sagittarius itself means Dharma. Dharma means the right path. Now when Venus goes there, this shows you will get to know the right path, how you can proceed with the luxury of life. So how you will perceive the material side of your, of your life. This is the time when you understand that the material side is actually necessary, but it is not like something which you can, which you, which you will die for, which you will quit your life for. So for the material success, whatever you need to do, you will get to know. Because this Venus also will represent uh, the, the Libra and the Tauran Zodiac. Now for the Sagittarius, if we put it Sagittarius as the Ascendant, you will see that Venus controls 6th and 11th house, which means all the finances. Now when Venus joins Jupiter, Saturn and Ketu, this shows that recalibration of your finances will happen. Recalibration of your material itinerary will happen. Material uh, objectives of your life will happen. You will go more soulful, more inward. Yes, you will find a very deep and acute lack of love. If you are feeling that, you may feel that there is a deep and acute lack of love. And you would want to search that. That is why I also uh, made sure to tweet on this, that this is the time where you love God. This is the time when you show the devotion towards the divine, show the devotion towards the, the one and the supreme God, that you love him. And that is one source of eternal love. Because Venus defines Femininity, Venus defines the sign of love, Venus defines compassion, Venus defines relationship, marriage. All these things are going to be going for a transformation. All these things are going for a filtration. So imagine Jupiter, Saturn, K2 means a reality and Venus shows if anything that you are doing are in tune with the reality. <coughs> and if you're true to yourself and to your partner, things will actually materialize and fructify for you. Yes, you may feel sad, you may feel this lack of love. But that lack of love has to be fulfilled from God by devotion to God, by showing you true oneness with the divine. Slowly, planets are accumulating in the zodiac of Sagittarius, showing that the entire world is shifting towards dharma. You have to see whether you are following your dharma in matters of relationship, in matters of love, in matters of uh, finances, in matters of luxury. Are you giving too much attention towards your material pleasure? That's what you have to see. Now, when Mercury which is direct when Mars and Mercury has a conjunction and they are direct and uh, Venus also goes out of the clutches of Sun and Sun is now alone in the zodiac of uh, Scorpio. 
it is a brilliantly placed movement which is slowly placing itself into a situation which shows a rise of dharma a rise of right path so everybody is now blessed to follow the right path especially with matters related to venus what you do and what how you perceive this will define how you will get the output because saturn ultimately is the lord of karma now every planet in sagittarius is slowly slowly moving and uh, with this movement because venus is faster than all three of jupiter saturn and ketu venus will actually cross over them when once venus cross venus will first cross over jupiter so obviously contrasting faith contrasting belief will come into picture so there it needs some sort of an adjustment some sort of compromise some sort of uh, understanding of the of the point of view of the other side so you may not be always correct that is what you have to understand and you have to also understand the point of view of the person in front of you and the person in consideration so do not be too rigid give up your ego love wholeheartedly this is the time when sun in the scorpio is showing give up your ego fructify your uh, rectify your soul uh, remove all the darkness from your soul so it's like sun is taking a deep deep dive into the eternal waters of scorpio and shedding off all the inhibitions shedding off all the negativity giving away the unnecessary uh, unnecessary attachment to one self that uh, you are the ultimate supreme and then venus when it goes into the jupiter saturn ketu realizes what true love is and this is a very spiritual transformation and you have to take it spiritually so guys i hope you like this video and if you like do not forget to hit like subscribe and share and hit the bell icon so that you never miss another update plot movie is coming soon stay tuned this is your host puneet signing off